Hello everybody, my name is Wachara, and this is Planet Crafter, another episode of my Let's Play. Today, we are going to focus on getting some of these scores up. Well, not only these, but also these. So, last episode, uh, I unlocked the Tree Spreader Tier 3, which gives an absolute crap ton of oxygen and plants. So, we're going to basically replace all our Tier 2 Tree Spreaders with these, and maybe even build a couple extra ones. Um, Got to make sure we have the energy for that, though. And then I believe it would be prudent to send up a oxygen rocket and a plants rocket after that. Also, I want to get keep putting the pressure on the pressure because I want to get this tier three ore extractor. So we're gonna send uh, we're gonna send up a, a pressure rocket, but also going to put down a few more uh, tier three drills, tier three, tier four, whatever the highest one is, tier four. Put down a, a few of these. Maybe I could get four more of these. I'd be happy. That might be a little too much. We'll see. Get at least a couple of these down. It's hard on the super alloy, right? It takes up a lot of super alloy, but I'm thinking maybe I might want to make another ore extractor in the super alloy cave. Might be a good idea. And I have a uh, pulse quartz in its own thing. Somebody told me to make sure you have three, like save three for sure. So. And it's what five for the the big power thing this thing and four super alloy how much super alloy do i have right now yeah i'm doing pretty good but only the one rod but this will give me enough power for everything i'm trying to do today at the very least or it should in theory so let's drop this right here and then let's check and see how much power we have should be quite a bit in theory in reality, who knows? <laughs> okay, no, 2,000. Yeah, 2,000 is a lot. So, tier 3 tree spreader. Needs super alloy, bacteria sample, tree bark, zeolite, and two tier 2 fertilizers. But here's the thing. I'm replacing the tier 2s, and they take the exact same thing, just one less tier 2 fertilizer. So, all we need to do is take the tier two fertilizer out. That's it. Now we can, I don't know if I even need this many, but I can replace nine. I don't think I even have nine. I might have nine. And also I got two of these three seed uh, Amora, which is 400% oxygen multiplier. It's crazy. So I can replace one of my less efficient or two of my less efficient tree seeds, or maybe that I make two new ones in addition to all the ones I'm replacing. I think I should set two super alloy. No, I don't have any more tier two fertilizer. <laughs> two zeolite. Um, what was it? Zeolite, bacteria, tree bark. Good to go. All right, let's make a whole bunch of oxygen and biomass. What are we looking at for oxygen right now? 1.5 million. Biomass, we're looking at 260 something thousand. I kind of want to, I kind of want to write these numbers down to see how much they go up after everything I do. So 1.57 mil O2 and 267K biomass. Yeah, those numbers are going to go up quite a bit. They should, they should anyway. I'm hoping and um, lots of comments on yesterday's video. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um, that crater I found that I said it looked interesting and I was disappointed there was nothing there. Um, apparently I was there before. I, I don't remember being there before, but everybody's like, yeah, you were there before. Um, somebody said I was there before the episode that I was lost. And also people said there is supposed to be things there, but somebody mentioned that possibly I got there too late and my TI is too high and the stuff that was there was gone. I didn't know that was a thing, but it could very well be. All right, so let's take the seed out, deconstruct, and tier three. Booyah. All right, so we will, yeah, we'll just put in, no, let's let's replace with the good seed. So that's 34,000 <laughs> oxygen and 1.25 kg, so 1,200 and 50 grams per second that's a lot a lot of power too but 
you know, that's fine. It's, I mean, it's better than fine. <laughs> so we're going to replace all of them first. And then if we still have tier two fertilizer left, we'll make a couple fresh ones. That's the plan. We will see what happens in reality. And I mean, I, I'm sure I can make more tier two fertilizer. Um, actually, you probably need more. Well, I probably need more gas extractors for that. I probably should have checked my gas extractors while I was while I was home there. Oh well, not a big deal. All right, so this one's 175. This one's 150. So let's use the 175. At the very least, I should be able to get all these replaced and maybe one fresh one down at least. Ooh, a 250. Nice. So obviously they're not all going to have the crazy amount of oxygen that that one did, right? Because or the two, because they had the better, better seed, but still going to be a good amount. Actually, ooh, I have more of these than I thought. Maybe I'm not going to have enough. No, I'll have enough, but I don't know if we'll have enough for any fresh ones. And that's okay. As long as I get these replaced, I'm happy. I mean, this one gives five thousand oxygen and 175 plants. This one's going to give, like, yeah, a lot more. It's going to be a lot more. I mean, the oxygen depends on the seed, but the the plant's value doesn't matter what the seed is. And it's, like, got uh, six or seven times more, right? So that's a lot of extra plants. Like, a lot, a lot. And put you down, and I need to sneeze. Sorry about that. All right, so that's all of them replaced. I have enough for one fresh one. So let's put you there. And I got a 175 and a 150, so let's put the 175 in, obviously. All right, yeah, that's, that's a lot of oxygen and a lot of plants. That a lot more than what I had. Like, it's good. It's good. Actually, while I'm out here, <laughs> might as well check the super alloy. Yeah, maybe. Oh, hydration level critical. Let's not die today like I did a couple episodes ago. Oh, why can't I drink? My water filter not on for some reason? No. Why is it not letting me? Oh, there we go. That was weird. Wasn't letting me drink for some reason. Yeah, a couple episodes ago, I died twice just because I wasn't paying attention to my needs. I basically starved to death twice <laughs> because I'm awesome at this game, apparently. <laughs> All right, so there's some super alloy because we're going to need a bunch if I'm adding a bunch of drills. But before I add the drills, I believe I want to send up a plants rocket and an oxygen rocket. And then we will take a look at the, uh, see how much the base values went up. Last time I did this with oxygen, the, I like doubled my oxygen output. It was it was kind of insane. I'm not sure if I'm going to double it again, but actually, you know what? It probably will pretty close to double again. I just added a ton of oxygen, right? Like, that was a lot. All right, so I'm hungry, so let's stop by my uh, automated quality food making depot here. When is it? This one? Yes. And eat. And this one's making bioplastic nuggets. It is maxed out. I should probably come empty that. I should probably also empty my uh, gas extractors. I should probably put them next to each other. There's a lot of things I should probably do right now. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, I probably don't need to put the iron in there, but I will anyway. Alright, and super alloy. And actually, let's, let's make a rod because I have too much. Oh, need an aluminum. I was like, why can't I make an, an alloy rod? Because <laughs> you need aluminum, Looch. Uh, one or two. Ah, let's just make one. Right now, I need more loose super alloy than I do rods, right? All right, so do I have any rocket engines already? I have one. Okay, I completely forget what these rockets need. And I know I should remember this stuff, but... If I haven't remembered yet, I'm not going to. Let's be real. 
So oxygen multiplier. I need bacteria, which I have, so I need two super alloy and a mutagen. Because I have the tree bark bacteria on me already. Mutagen. Two super alloy. Let's go. So this is the one for oxygen. Does not um, give any good meteors, but that's fine. That's a lot of extra oxygen. Which is good. Considering how much my base oxygen went up today. Kind of crazy. Alright, perfect. And you know what? I should probably check what the other one is while I'm here. That would make sense, right? <laughs> Plants. Sea Lerma. Bark. Fertilizer. Two super alloy in the engine. That, I'm pretty sure I can do. Pretty sure I have that stuff. Sea Lerma. Go grab some tree bark from in here. Fertilizer. And we don't need two tree bark. We only need one. Um, super alloy. But I also need one to make the rocket. Then I need two uranium. And an iridium rod. Or Z rocket. And I believe rocket to super alloy fertilizer seed lerma tree bark. Now, what am I going to do with this tree seed? Well, let's see. Can we make fertilizer tier two? I think it might be out of methane. Yeah, I am. I am out of methane. All right, so let's go check my gas extractors. Let's get some methane in the house. And oh wait, nitrogen. Oh. You can why is okay i i assumed that i had to either have a higher tier gas extractor or be in a different biome to get nitrogen so i haven't gotten one this whole game <laughs> and now or maybe i just once you hit a certain ti nitrogen starts getting extracted probably maybe possibly um all right well i'm just gonna put the nitrogen in with the methane for now all right so let's Make a couple tier two fertilizers here. Do I have enough squash? How much squash do I have? Ooh, yeah, no, I'm getting low on squash. So, squash, squash. I should probably plant even more squash. Like I don't need, I don't need these eggplants anymore, right? I don't think, because I have. I have fertilizer being made automatically elsewhere, right? I think it makes more sense to have even more squash here. And maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm being crazy, but I think I think I'm right. Ooh, butterfly farm. Dude, I mean, I, it makes butterflies, obviously. Um, all right, so let's send up this rocket before we do anything else. Let me up. Ants rocket. Come on, baby. Send in the plants to space. Go to space, little plant. Perfect. All right. Grab my fertilizer on the way by. There's two. That's all I need. So now... Let's check this. All right, so I'm up to. Wait, is that? So I went from <laughs> I went from 1.5 million oxygen per second to 8.2 million. Holy crap! I like <laughs> six tuppled it. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, and. Uh, plants was 267k now it's 847k so we basically a little more than tripled that holy crap okay so today has been extremely productive so far that's insane all right so um how's my power doing 1200 do i those tree spreaders did use a lot of power all right so i got enough let's make one more tree spreader That should be enough. Yes. 
Wait, need a tree bark. And we got a seed. It's not a great seed, but, you know, it's a seed. And like I said, the, the plant value is not dependent on the seed, right? The extra oxygen is nice, don't get me wrong. But plants, the extra plants is, is mint. All right, I got to check out the butterfly farm here, too. I'm assuming it makes a ton of insects, right? Probably. And maybe a little bit of plants as well. But technically, biomass is plants and insects. Just my insects value is way lower, right? But maybe once I can get some of these butterfly farms. All right, so I'm kind of curious. So the beehive is 15 insects and 350 plants. I'm going to say the butterflies is similar uh, be it's weird I, I i understand that bees like pollinate plants and they help plants grow but i feel like the ratio of insects per second to plants per second in the beehive was weird is the butterfly going to be similar or is there going to be more insects okay it's just insects but these not super expensive well no that's kind of expensive because fertilizer tier two is your two fertilizers like my my roadblock my choke point right now neither of those are the right term can't remember i <laughs> trying to think of what the right term is um anyway i'm sure you get the idea it's it's the thing that i it's like the one thing that i need right now right and so i'm glad i replaced the squash i'm just trying to think how could i automate it what does it need needs algae, squash, methane cartridges, and fertilizer. So it would have to be near the water. Excuse me. Um, it would have to be near the water, but also near the land for the gas extractors. Uh, like, could I put it like right here? Like, can um, can auto crafters pull from other auto crafters? You know what I mean? Like if I put it right here, and methane right on the shore, and cut more algae, and then and uh, a farm for uh, squash, would that work? That's everything you needed, right? All right. Well, let's let's see. Let's try. So let's uh let's get some iron. We'll go make some more platforms down there. We'll also get a drink. See if I can make this work. The placement of the auto crafter is gonna be key, right? Um actually you know what? I'm gonna put a little cut in here. So I'm gonna have to make some some bee larva. Um and you know, that's just tedious busy work that doesn't need to be recorded. So I'm gonna why well, won't it let me put one there? Anyway, I'll figure this out. I'll be back. Okay, I got it set up down here. Um, it, the autocrafter does pull from the other autocrafter, it looks like. Um, but, oh, no algae's close enough. Gonna have to put an algae extractor or two out here. Um, the other issue with it, other than the fact that no algae's close enough right now, is these things are gonna be making nitrogen, which is just gonna and oxygen, which is going to gum it up. Once I get tier two gas extractors, this will work. But right now, it's it'll work somewhat, but I'll have to go down there and babysit it and pull out nitrogen on the regular. Um, so let's just store the nitrogen down here. Assuming nitrogen is useful for something. It's not, well, I know it is. It's useful like for, God, what was it? Um, the next tier of... Uh, Muted tier three mutagen maybe needed it. Oh, that's crooked. That's gonna bug me. It <laughs> can't can't have that. There. All right, so we'll put the nitrogen and oxygen in there. All right, so algae extractors. What do those need? Bioplastic nugget, fertilizer, water bottle, magnesium, super alloy. Of course, they need super alloy. Everything needs super alloy. Literally everything. All right, before I do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna increase the pressure a bit. Said I was going to do that. Six super, six super alloy per. How much super alloy is this? 10, 12. Uh, 
So that's 18. That's 18. Don't. No. Yes, that's 18. So that would be three. And nine osmium. Oh, low on osmium as well. All right. And put the slurb away. Don't need you. Don't need to be carrying uh, mutagen with me. Don't need to be carrying this iron with me. All right, so let's go make th three more of these drills. I'm going to take uh, the advice of somebody in the comments, I think it was Fuse, told me to stop building this stuff near my base. You know, I might have lag issues later if I keep building this stuff too close to my base. So I'm just going to go over over this way somewhere. <laughs> they don't need to be near your base, right? It's not helpful to be near my base. What's that? Is there this rock over here looks different. It's a zeolite rock. Oh, there's a plant over there. These plants that I can get tree seeds out of. Not the really good one, but... Okay, that's nice, though. So now I kind of want to poke around <laughs> some more, see if I can find some more of those. And <laughs> Now that I think about it, I'm not even sure if I've really been out up. Have, like, have I been up here before? Maybe? Where's that giant buried space station? It's right there. Okay, so I've been kind of up here before. But, like, I've never gone over here before. This, I'm pretty sure, is brand new. Anyway, I wasn't planning to do any exploration today. This looks like a cave over here, though. Yeah, it looks like a cave. It's not a cave. Oh, oh, what do we got down here, though? We got a satellite. Okay, um... That's... Okay, well, let's, um... Let's go do what we came out here to do. <laughs> and then we will come back for all that stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Also, although it is a breathable atmosphere, I still do burn oxygen when I'm underwater. Got to remember that. All right. So let's go place these drills. Um, oh, another one of these plants. Apparently, they're all over the place now. Okay. I mean, that's good. It's a good thing. All right. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why I'm... Put them wherever they fit, Looch. <laughs> don't need to be picky about it. All right, so where this wasn't the one with it in it, was it? No. Yeah. So there's the drills over here. Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. No, this is it. <laughs> I think. So I'm very sure of myself, right? Yeah, I know that this is it. All right, so let's collect all the good stuff. Radium rod or radium rod, uranium rods, tier two fertilizer, osmium super alloy. That's a lot of actually pretty valuable stuff. If I'm being honest. And then I want to send up a pressure rocket. So I really want the, the tier three ore extractor, right? And that depends on pressure. So I feel like increasing my pressure just a little bit every episode, every day is helpful long term and maybe maybe not maybe tier three or extractors aren't that important but i feel like they are they are to me <laughs> it's real to me damn it all right might as well check see if there's any super alloy in here while i'm out here there usually is three all right so what don't we have what do we need um titanium ironically Yep, we're out of titanium out here. That is not what I expected. That's good, though, because I have titanium. I got all kinds of titanium. I can bring some titanium out there. Fix that problem right up. All right, I can't remember. Is the pressure rocket cobalt or silicon? I should know this one by now. I've sent the rockets up so many times. I want to say it's silicon. But no. <laughs> and I, I realize I should. Um, okay, it is. It is silicon. All right, so let's go grab three silicon. And then we're good. We can sh we can ship that. And then we'll have even more pressure. It'll be even another step closer to uh, tier three ore extractors. 
and it also gives iridium which is yeah you know whatever I mean I'm sure I'll collect it but it's not not a big deal all right so let's put everything away here put some of the stuff away at least all right so what do I need for the algae extractors again bioplastic nugget fertilizer all right so I'm gonna make two algae extractors probably so two fertilizer and I need or super alloy it's too many wait I missed that one that's the right amount <laughs> put those away don't need you don't need the osmium so bioplastic nugget magnesium water bottle two magnesium uh, okay so let's go out to the bioplastic farm here uh, and then I'll get water on the way back through but like I said I know this is not gonna work all that well because of the nitrogen's gonna screw it up but I want to get it in place anyway Right here. Plastic nugget. Oh, yeah, I should probably bring some silicon out here. Anyway, that's more bio. I'll that. I won't need much more bioplastic nuggets for a while, I'm hoping. Over 50 GTI now. That number is definitely creeping up. Alright, so algae extractor. Plus, I mean, a little it's a little bit extra oxygen, a little bit extra plants, which I'll never I'll never say no to, right? All right, so I just want to, before I end this episode, there's one thing I want to check. Um, I should probably get something to eat. Probably have ate while I was over here. You know what? Let's deliver some silicon. Some silicon over there. And eat while we're over here as well. And there's one thing I want to check. I want to see how far I am from tier two uh, gas extractors. Cause I'm, I'm really not sure. I probably should got a drink when I was down by the water. I don't do that often enough. It's just I don't, I don't think of it quite often enough. There we go. All right, how close am I to tier two gas extractors? Yeah, I'm assuming it's due to the GTI because these didn't used to make nitrogen. They used to just make methane. Now they're making like half and half. It feels. I think gas extractor tier twos are in here. Tier 5, insect spreader, right here. Okay, so 15.5 plants. So we got to get our plants up. I mean, we did a lot for plants today. So maybe get some more tree spreaders going. I can make... Are these squash done? Um, I do have those these two other plants, right? So I can make some seeds. So... Well, Eutogen. Let's get these made. I think that's the recipe, right? I hope. No, no, it's not. Oh, it needs tree bark. It's. When is it? This one. Tree bark. Not fertilizer. Tree bark. Fertilizer is for the larva. All right. Anyway, pretty productive day. We greatly increased a lot of things today. A lot of things we needed to increase. Um, and then uh, next episode, we'll do a couple more tree spreaders. Um, this is a pretty decent one. It's uh, like 250%, I think. But I mean, that's only the oxygen. I'm more interested in the plants right now, right? Although there is still stuff we need in the oxygen tree, isn't there? Oh, yeah water life collector but that's not really a concern right now right anyway i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already most importantly be good to each other have a great day and i'll see you in the next one